Who will take home an Oscar? Let's ask a computer. What defines an award-winning performance? How can you judge one film to be superior to all others? How do you measure a comedic turn versus a dramatic role that tugs at your heartstrings? These are all questions that we ask ourselves every time Academy Award season rolls around, and they seem like really human questions. I mean, only a person can truly determine which nominee deserves an award, right? Nope. As it turns out, even something as seemingly unpredictable as the Oscars can be forecast using the right methodology. Film buffs have been doing this for years, looking at things like the outcome of the Golden Globe Awards, or just going with a gut feeling. But it turns out one really reliable source is to consult our friend Big Data. In case you forgot, Big Data refers to all that information we generate and accumulate on a daily basis. Some of it might be categorized in neat packets, some of it might be random ones and zeros, all of it is complex and huge and a challenge to analyze. But there are a lot of companies that specialize in doing just that. And one of them made a big name for itself when it said its algorithm could predict Oscar winners. So how did they do? Well, in 2013, they hit five out of their six predictions. They only missed the best director. And in 2014, they got all six out of six. Guess the Oscars aren't that unpredictable after all. Now that data is great for determining which produced film is most likely to win an award, but what if we wanna know how an audience will react to our unproduced movie? For that, we need to turn to the mysteries of the human mind, which our friends at BrainCraft have done. You see, number crunching isn't going to tell us if our TV show or our film or our commercial is going to resound with audiences. Only brainwaves can do that. But more on that in a little bit. Right now, I wanna look into the future. A future where computer algorithms can really look at movies closely, Oscar-winning movies, and determine which elements made that film stand apart from all others, and distill it down to a distinct formula so that you can go in and make an Oscar darling with no creativity or innovation at all. That sounds horrible. But it's happening, sort of. There's a market analysis firm that actually uses an algorithm to look at unproduced screenplays and judge which elements are going to pop or fizzle in the movie based on past box office performance. So before you put that grandfatherly figure in who's going to be dispensing wisdom on every page of your script, check the numbers. If it turns out that trope's not gonna do well on opening weekend, you might have to scrap it. Screenwriters are understandably a little reluctant to use this model, and they point out that it does discourage innovation and creativity because it just depends upon past data. I'm inclined to agree with them. Oh, I'm sorry, my Scriptobot 3000 just rewrote that line. It now says, um, computer algorithms can produce films with much quality. Honestly, I don't see this as the future of filmmaking. I mean, sure, a few folks are going to want a formula for quick success, like movie producers. But we have to keep in mind, filmmakers are business people and artists, and no formula is going to create a career-defining performance in an actress, or design a beautiful shot from a cinematographer. Only people can do that, for now anyway. All right, I got a question for you guys this week. What seemingly unpredictable series of events do you think an algorithm is gonna crack next? Let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit like and subscribe to our channel. And hey, maybe I already know you love the video because I looked at your brainwaves. See, our buddies at BrainCraft have studied how brainwaves and audience reaction interact with each other. And uh, well, I think they explain it best. Check this out audience reactions are becoming an exact science. It's popularly being called neurocinema.